Hey everyone, it's Dan. Today we're going to be doing another Walking Dead Season 3 review. This is for Season 3, Episode 12, called Clear. This episode was really, really unique. Uh, it, there's no other episode, I feel like, in The Walking Dead like this episode. Um, it's, man, it's definitely one of a kind. Uh, because this, this almost, I would almost say, uh, we almost take a break in this episode. I, the pacing's not too fast, you know, it's not... It's not anything like, uh, you know, episode 8 or something where it's, you know, it's all this Governor versus Rick stuff. This is one of the only episodes in the series where they actually, they get rid of everything else going on, you know, in the actual story. And they just, they kind of make a new story, but it's just for one episode. That They don't do that very often because, if you think about it, this episode, after this episode... It's almost as if it never happened because, you know, if you go from episode 11 to episode 13, I mean, it almost, you know, it almost seems like nothing even happened in episode 12. But, and I, you know, you guys would probably say, oh, well, then why don't you hate it? It doesn't progress the story very well. The reason why is because it's Morgan and we, we, we've been waiting to see Morgan for a while. So that is progression of the story. It, it really is if you look at it. But uh, this episode, um, I thought it was really great. I thought that... Uh, you know, in this episode, I almost feel like Rick still doesn't trust Michonne, which I thought was kind of weird since she, like, kind of took care of Carl in this one. So, uh, yeah, but really, really great. Uh, so, anyway, we get uh, the introduction or, like, the reintroduction of Morgan. You're, you know, they're kind of, like, just looking around. They see the spike trap. They're kind of wondering what's going on. Uh, and basically what we end up seeing is that Morgan has been uh, going crazy. He lost his wife, lost his son, all that kind of stuff. He explains to Rick, but at first, you know, they fight and all that. And, you know, he's like, you know, like, do you see who I am? And he's like, people wearing dead people's faces. And I'm like, what? What? You know? And everybody talks about the whispers and how Morgan's met them before. I don't think it's the whispers. I don't think they would be all the way out here because right now our group is in, you know, Washington D.C. You know, you know, it's it's and right now they're in Georgia. I just I don't know. I don't I don't see it. Uh, you know, they're outside of Atlanta. Uh, I don't see it. Um, I really don't. Uh, but it's still such a great episode. I really do uh, enjoy this uh, episode a lot because you, you know you get that, but then you get so many bonding scenes between uh, Carl and Michonne. He go gets uh, he goes to uh, go get. The, uh, you know, the uh, formula for Judith, and uh, also, you know, just some baby stuff. Uh, and then he also tries to get a picture of uh, Lori, uh, Rick, and him, because he wants uh, Judith to know what his uh, actual mother looked like. Um, which, you know, you, if you think about it, really does make sense. Uh, so, then you get just kind of a, a scene where they're talking about, uh, you, you never answered me, and all this stuff between Rick and Morgan. Uh, you know, of course, Morgan stabs Rick, which, which was crazy in my opinion. Uh, and, you know, he sets all these traps, and I'm like, oh, man. Uh, you know, Michonne kills all these walkers. and It's a great episode. It really is. Uh, now, also, I really enjoyed uh, just when they left, you know, and he's like, don't, don't ever be sorry, kids. You know, don't ever be sorry that you shot me, you know. Uh, and then they, at the end of the episode, which was really cool, they play that music, uh, which was great as well. Uh, the music that, uh, you know, lead me home, you know, a great, great episode. Uh, but really just kind of ends this episode in a great way with that song. I really like it. Uh, but I also really like how uh, when you see Rick and Morgan talking, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I, I like it because, you know, we get to catch up with those two great characters. And Lenny James did a great job in this episode. Uh, and I think that honestly... If Morgan does die in season eight, I think this episode will, it'll be even more special than it already is. Uh, but I think that this episode uh, did a great job. I thought that the Morgan stuff was amazing. And I thought that everything else was, uh, it, it, it was a great episode. It really was. You just kind of got to catch up with Morgan. You got to catch up with where uh, Rick, Carl, and Michonne are at. Uh, you know, aside from the governor stuff. And uh, it, it's great. So anyway, guys, make sure to write all those comments below about this episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was, like, too filler? Uh, to be honest, I think it kind of was, but I thought it wasn't at the same time because we kind of did get some progression Morgan-wise, so I still enjoyed it uh, either way. And, and just seeing the reunion between them, which I kind of almost hate the fact that Morgan didn't go with them, but that kind of made Season 5's uh, finale 
uh, so, so rewarding, you know, uh, so for the people that wanted Morgan to come back as well as uh, me, so, um, anyway guys, make sure to write all those comments below, I have one more video for you guys later on today, and that is for a, another Walking Dead uh, Season 3 review, that is for Season 3 Episode 13, so I will see you guys for that.